If there's one thing for sure, it's that an electric car revolution has well and truly begun. The world's major car manufacturers are throwing their full weight behind electrifying their fleets. Charging times and infrastructure are constantly improving, and with new all-electric models being announced more frequently than ever, it's never been a better time to go electric. Now, this huge commitment to EVs and creating the most cutting-edge technology means there's some seriously cool cars on the road right now, and more coming to the market over the next few years. So let's take a look at what Formula E's mighty manufacturer teams have in store. So first up, let's look at a manufacturer that was one of the early mass adopters of production EVs, BMW. A manufacturer we know all too well, not just because of their Formula E racing credentials, but because the all-electric BMW i3 has been a part of the official course cars alongside the electrified i8 as the official safety car for the championship's entire existence. And the future of BMW's electric fleet is looking exciting too. With the recent launch this year of the iX3, the all-electric version of the immensely popular X3 SUV. Design-wise, it closely resembles its petrol-powered counterpart, as opposed to any futuristic radical styling like we've seen with the i3 and the i8. The iX3's electric powertrain and single electric motor can push out 286 brake horsepower from an 80 kilowatt hour battery and has a WLTP range of 285 miles. BMW's upcoming additions to their electric fleet correspond perfectly with the manufacturer's progression in Formula E. Success on the racetrack means success on the road, and with multiple wins to their name over the past few seasons, we're now seeing the fruits of the learnings in Formula E being integrated into their road cars. Mercedes-Benz have been going about their business relatively quietly on the EV release front with the EQC, but having just completed their first season as a manufacturer team in Formula E, they're preparing to take big strides into the EV market in 2021. First up with the Mercedes-Benz EQA, a compact car first previewed in 2017 at the Frankfurt Motor Show. There's only concept specs and stats so far, but the EQA is scheduled to go into production by the end of the year with a strong focus on fascinating electric customer experience and a suitable range even for mid to long distance traveling. More from Mercedes hitting the road in 2021 with a sleek new EQS all-electric saloon. Mercedes officially confirmed a range of more than 700 kilometers, that's 435 miles, for the EQS and a halving of its charging time compared to current models, which is hugely impressive and is most certainly going to raise a few eyebrows. Mercedes has announced recently that by 2022, the manufacturer intends to have multiple electrified variants across all segments on offer. Now that's made up of mild hybrids, plug-in hybrids, but at least 10 fully electric models. The concept version of Audi's upcoming electric SUV, the Q4 e-tron, was revealed at 2019's Geneva Motor Show, but a production version is scheduled to be on sale in 2021. It definitely borrows styling from the e-tron, and size-wise, it'll slot in just beneath the Q5 in Audi's SUV lineup. Interestingly, it won't use the MLB platform used by the larger e-tron and will instead use the VW Group's MEB platform, the same as used by the VW ID range. As a result, it'll have around 100 brake horsepower less than the full-size e-tron, but around 100 more than the VW ID hatchbacks built on the same platform. The concept car already gave a realistic preview, coming with an 82 kilowatt hour battery and a WLTP range of up to 310 miles. A second electric entry for Audi in 2021 comes with the Audi e-tron GT. It's an electric Gran Turismo and will share the J1 performance platform with the Porsche Taycan. Now these two German giants have teamed up to better compete in the EV market with outsiders such as Tesla. So it's going to be interesting to see what cars are born out of that platform in years to come. The e-tron GT is predicted to use a 90 kilowatt hour plus battery good for 248 miles of range. With 350 kilowatt rapid charging capabilities, meaning you can charge 80% of the battery around 200 miles in just 20 minutes. That is some seriously fast charging. Twin electric motors producing 582 brake horsepower mean the e-tron GT should be capable of a 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 3.5 seconds and a 149 miles per hour top speed. 2021 will see the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, the more rugged, roomy version of the Taycan, hit the road. The Cross Turismo is the next stage of a full-scale attack on the EV market from Porsche, 
following on from the success of the Taycan. Following this, we'll see a fully electric version of the company's biggest seller, the Macan, as part of Porsche's second fully battery-powered model series. The company is anticipating that by the middle of this decade, half of the entire product range will be sold as fully electric models or partially electric plug-in hybrids. Earlier in 2020, we were treated to the announcement of the new Nissan Aria electric SUV. The crucial new model is set to go on sale in 2021 as a rival to the Tesla Model Y and VW ID4, sitting above the hugely successful Leaf in Nissan's EV lineup. The Aria sports some pretty bold styling, listed to have a range of up to 300 miles EPA, depending on the options, and a 389 brake horsepower performance version. Now, Nissan aren't pulling any punches, claiming the Aria will mark a new era for electric vehicles by combining high levels of tech with exciting handling. It'll be sold in five different versions, a single motor front wheel and twin motor four wheel drive with a choice of 63 or an 87 kilowatt hour battery. The twin motor powertrain uses Nissan's new E-Force four wheel drive system, which they call the spiritual offspring of the system used in the widely appreciated Nissan GTR. The range topping E-Force performance model will use the 87 kilowatt hour battery, but produce 389 brake horsepower and have a range of up to 270 miles, covering 0 to 62 miles per hour in a claimed 5.1 seconds. Moving on to the British team and manufacturer Jaguar. Now the I-Pace is the Jaguar which tore up the rulebook to become the world's first premium all-electric SUV and has gone on to win more than 80 global awards. Earlier in 2020, a refreshed version of the highly regarded iPace was released, offering a new, fast, intuitive infotainment system, greater connectivity, quicker home charging, more driver assistance technology, and an even more distinctive design. Following the plug-in hybrid DS7 Crossback E-Tense 4x4 300, the DS3 Crossback E-Tense, another road vehicle developed alongside a Formula E race program, went on sale last year, staking its claim in the rapidly growing premium electric market. Packed full of cool design quirks and luxury features, the E-Tense has an 100 kilowatt electric motor and a smooth yet punchy when it needs to be powertrain, making it a little bit of an eyebrow raiser for potential EV owners. Range-wise, DS automobiles claim a WLTP range of up to 320 kilometers between charges and 100 kilowatt rapid charging capability, meaning 30 minutes of charging on an equivalent rapid charger will give you an 80% charge. July 2020 saw the launch of the NEO EC6, the latest EV offering from the Chinese company and Formula E manufacturer team. NEO may be onto something special with this EC6 electric SUV. It's a super stylish, sporty, low drag design with a very impressive claimed NEDC range of up to 382 miles. On the top spec, 100 kilowatt hour battery option. And not without haste, thanks to a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds. Rapid. That performance is thanks to its 160 kilowatt PM motor in the front and a 240 kilowatt induction motor at the rear. Available to order now with deliveries hitting the road in China very soon. And finally, we've talked quite a bit about the 1900 brake horsepower Batista hypercar over the past year or so, but word has it, it's on course to reach first customers from 2021, with only 150 models of the pure electric, two million pound masterpiece being made in Italy. Automobili Pininfarina claims that the Batista is the most powerful road legal car ever produced in Italy, thanks to four motors, one on each wheel, that collectively deliver up to 1900 brake horsepower and 1696 pound foot of torque, making it good for a sub two second 0 to 62 miles per hour time and a 0 to 186 miles per hour in less than 12 seconds. With Formula E team Mahindra Racing's reserve driver Nick Heidfeld helping with its development, the Batista has a 217 miles per hour top speed and can travel over 300 miles between each charge thanks to its 120 kilowatt hour battery. Is there anything this car can't do? And does anyone have a spare two million pound lying around? So there we have it, Formula E's manufacturer team showing that they mean business in the electric world, both on and off the track. An exciting and impressive list of EVs coming in the next year or so, but which are you most looking forward to seeing on the road? Let us know in the comments.